All right, so today I'm gonna to be talking about Maxor armor. Uh, if these things can stop shooting at me, why it is incredibly underrated, and also getting rid of some myths about it. I might put some chapters in this video. The first section is going to be how this armor set is underrated. The second part will be getting rid of some myths. What this armor set excels at is the actual clear part of the dungeon. Being that the set is only four starred, we got rid of that angry archeologist fairly quickly. We are only doing, um, between 11 to, I wanna say 13 mil per hit, that's what I'm seeing. I am playing this as archer, but that's just because uh, that's my main dungeon class, not because this is an archer set. What this set is really good for is speed. It is insanely fast in dungeons where speed is nerfed. As you can see right now, full clear has not been done yet. I already have 358 speed. I do have a tank with me just so I don't get absolutely <laughs> flattened in some cases here. But for running secrets on floors like Master Mode, this set really has no equal. In terms of solo runs, this can cut run times in half. This set excels when you don't need hundreds of millions of damage per hit, so clearing the dungeon, not actually killing the bosses, and when you have to cover a lot of ground. If you're trying to solo a higher number floor, frag run, something like that, this set can cut your run time in half. As you can see though, the damage does leave a little to be desired. If this guy could stop running at light speed, we're doing 22 mil per hit right there. 21 mil per hit. Down to 10. It's really Soul Eater and Overload working together. Your hits can have a 10 million damage uh, range, I guess. Which sounds absolutely massive. But let's compare it to the Necron armor. I'm gonna use a golden head as well. As you can see, the difference in speed is already incredibly noticeable. But the damage of this set, we're going up to like, I'm assuming that was some Soul Eater thing. We're at 15 to 29 million damage per hit. No new blessings have been gotten since I switched armor sets. Necron with a golden or diamond head is still gonna be better by far for killing bosses. There's no need to reinvent the wheel here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but when it comes to clearing, Maxor is so much better than Necron. It does sufficient damage, while at the same time giving you double the walk speed. Why do I only have 185? That is so slow. So yeah, I'm not gonna make you wait 10 minutes and one second like those other videos on this armor to tell you that it's really good because it does similar damage to Necron. No, that's not what this is about. This set is incredibly good for finding secrets and doing the actual clear of the dungeon. It does pretty good damage with its increased crit damage stat, has eh, decent EHP, but has the highest base speed stat of any set in the game. Now to get into some myths about this set. Myth number one, some people are clickbaiting their videos saying that this set can be better than Necron. If you use three force Maxor and a Warden Helmet, they claim that because of the speed this set gives, this will be better than Three Force Necron and a Warden Helmet, or any Necron setup combination you can possibly make. So here we go, time to myth bust this. Removing the Maxor Helmet and putting on my Warden Helmet. Instantly speed cut down, we are almost at the speed cap of Warden Armor. Not using a Rogue Sword or anything to try to keep this as fair as I can possibly make it. Uh, and now I need to find mobs that haven't already been killed in this dungeon. Ah, yeah, over here, let's go. 21 million damage. <laughs> We're down to 10 there. 14, 5 million, 13.5 million, 14.4 million. If you wanna contrast this, Necron and a golden head, we're already at 18 million. These are pretty weak mobs, so I'm not getting the full soul eater bonus. Uh, there's a skeleton up here. How do I even get over there? Yeah, 29 million. Maxor and Warden Armor is not a good setup <laughs> in any way. Speed-wise, it's slower than Bonzo and a Golden Head. Damage-wise, it does about half. And if you want to check EHP, this gives me 649,000. This gives me 470. So it's worse in literally every single stat. Yeah, 29.8 million in comparison with 11.8, really? 15? Also, I love how the amber power scroll just doesn't work. <laughs> this is supposed to give me defense every single time I use it. The defense is going up more now that I'm not using it. What? <laughs> really the only other like myth about this set is that it's not as good as a rogue sword. This set puts me at a constant 
393% speed. Look how fast I am. If we want to get there with Necron armor, we've got to spam this rogue sword. Until all of our mana is gone. Look how long that took. And now I have no mana if I decide to do anything else. L bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Speed is slowly going back down. Yeah, I stayed there for a little bit longer than I thought I would, but spamming this all the way up to 400% speed takes a long time. When in this armor set, I'm instantly there. And when clearing the dungeon, there's no real drawback. Yeah, you're missing out on some damage, but unless you're doing like M3 or above, it's not anything that will make a noticeable difference. You're gonna make up more time on secrets than you'll lose time doing minis and stuff. Also, if you just like know how to play dungeons in general, you're not gonna die to minis more in this than you would in Necron. So yeah, is it overkill spending 40 million coins just so you can get something that is one step up from a rogue sword? I would say no, that's basically what Skyblock is all about. So is Maxor armor underrated? Yes, absolutely. Is it worth it? Also yes. Is it OP? No, it's not OP. If they remove the speed cap, it still probably wouldn't be OP outside of dungeons. I think they should do that. And hopefully this should have broken myth number three, which is probably the most prevalent myth about Maxor's armor and that it is broke Necron armor. <laughs> No, no it's not. If you take away anything from this video, is it should be that these two sets occupy a completely different niche in Hypixel Skyblock. So yeah, I would say that yes, Maxor's armor is far better for the clearing aspect of dungeons than Necron is. It's not budget Necron, if you put a Warden Helmet on it, it does not do anywhere near the damage that Necron does. And yes, it's better than a rogue sword. I could hoe spam, but I would have to fill literally my entire inventory up with hoes, reforged to blessed, to get this amount of speed, and I just can't be bothered. Two completely different sets, which occupy two completely different rules in this game. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, smash subscribe. I will see you all next time. Peace.